The nature of God's holy and consuming fire is fueled by love because he is love. And in the same way that we would hate anything that destroys our own children, God hates what destroys us. He doesn't hate us. He hates the things that destroy us. He created us to be in a relationship with him and to enjoy his love. But Satan will draw us away with deception. God's holiness burns with a consuming fire for our good. So if we are in a relationship with God, we have nothing to fear from a consuming fire. In Daniel chapter 3, Daniel's three friends were thrown into a fiery furnace. Any of the men who had been thrown in before them had been killed instantly. But when Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego were thrown into the fiery furnace, when the king looked into the furnace, he said, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they are not hurt. And the fourth is like the son of God. And when they were released, people who saw them said, the fire on these men had no power. The hair on their heads were not singed. Their garments were not affected and they did not even smell like fire. Christ walks with us through any fire that we face on earth and delivers us from the fire that is Satan's destination. If we don't know Jesus, or if we live in defiance of him, fear would be an appropriate reaction to his fire. God is a consuming fire.